It turns out the very training objective of language models indirectly rewards making things up. They're told to guess the next token in a sequence, not to stay silent. Claude has a separate anti-hallucination regimen, so the model often refuses to answer when it doesn't know, which is exactly what we want. Yet we've all seen hallucinations happen, even in the most advanced models. Why? Refusal is the default. Inside the model, there's a circuit that enforces don't answer unless it's confident. But if the question concerns something familiar, say a well-known person like Michael Jordan, a competing known entity circuit kicks in, overrides the ban, and the model answers. Ask about a fictional person, Michael Batkin for instance, and the ban stays put. Claude politely declines. The scientists tested this with literal neurosurgery. They switched on the known entity circuit for a name the model had never seen and switched off the unknown marker. The ban vanished and Claude hallucinated an answer. Michael Batkin is a chess player, so a glitch can happen even without manual tampering. The model recognizes the pattern of a name, lacks real facts, disables the guard, and starts inventing a plausible but false story. Once that guard is down, the model keeps going, fabricating more details to sound convincing, that is how natural hallucinations are born.